A plethora of rescue pets hoping for yet another rescue today after fierce flooding sent water spilling into their cages and kennels, leaving shelter organizers howling for help and searching for solutions. Animals were standing in water, all of their beds were wet. Uh, my biggest fear was that the sick kittens on the bottom cages would have drowned. Luckily, they didn't. Jenny Schleter is the executive director of Heartland Animal Shelter and says before 6.30 this morning, a water main broke under the shelter, buckling the cement floor and sending feet of water through the facility, putting more than 100 animals in jeopardy. It was literally a river. It was about two feet tall, running through all, every room. This is already coming up on a difficult few weeks for animal shelters. Here at Heartland, they say they typically see a large increase of strays around the 4th of July holiday and say they need your help to continue to operate after this disaster. Our team has come together wonderfully, getting animals out. We have all the dogs placed. Um, we have a good portion of the cats placed, maybe about 50 cats more needing foster or placement. They're low on the ground, and those cats were probably just you know, hanging on for dear life. Community members like Valerie Abrascato seeing the call on social media and bringing what they can to help while volunteers clean up the murky mud left behind. The shelter in talks now to open a pop-up adoption center at Chicago Executive Airport nearby. They're in our community and it's our responsibility as part of the community to help. Now, all 25 dogs have found foster homes, including Hindi here, but Heartland is asking for help finding foster homes for dozens of cats that still need a safe home. You can find out how to connect at abc7chicago.com. In Wheeling, Mark Rivera, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.